Since World War II, the land on Japan's famous Iwo Jima Island has been almost continuously rising with the beaches Marines landed on in 1945, now a whopping 62 feet or 18.9 meters above sea level. As this well-known volcanic island has in recent years been the site of the single highest rate of uplift on the planet due to the refilling of its underlying magma chamber in the past three years rising at a rate of 1 meter or 39.4 inches each year, which can be seen via the rapid expansion of this island's size. This follows a pattern traced back to the very first sighting of Iwo Jima in the 16th century where at the time only two separate small islands existed. Due to Iwo Jima's increased activity in the last three years, a higher rate of volcanic eruptions have been triggered at this active volcano, with a several month long eruption occurring each year during 2020, 2021, 2022, and now perhaps 2023. Yet, the latest eruption which began on or around October 30th of 2023 appears to have produced something special. As 700 meters south of Iwo Jima's southern coastline, on that day emerged the world's newest volcanic island. This brand new island appears to measure approximately 83 meters or 272 feet wide and 240 meters or 787 feet long, being only 0.8% the size the Hunga Tonga Hunga Haapai Island was in 2020. Adjacent to this island, a vent was observed emitting white and black plumes which are the hallmark of a Sertsayan eruption caused by the interaction of heated rock and gas with shallow ocean water. Alongside this brand new island, which contained an area of approximately 0.02 square kilometers or 4.92 acres, something unusual was observed. Specifically, floating bombs of lava which were still steaming were spotted, and this occurred alongside a pumice raft. On its own, this might not seem like much, as volcanoes around the planet erupt lava all the time. Yet, this is highly unusual for Iwo Jima, as every single one of its more than 40 volcanic eruptions in the last 1,000 years have been purely phreatic, where underlying groundwater flashed to steam and exploded while not ejecting any lava. Yet, for the first time in a millennia, on July 11th of 2022, the same vent which is erupting right now produced similar fragments of fresh lava. While that prior eruption also formed a volcanic island, it proved to be smaller and presumably more prone to erosion, quickly disappearing under the waves. While the current island is unlikely to last more than 18 months, it could, strangely enough, become a new permanent feature of Iwo Jima, as the sizable amount of ground deformation this island is undergoing could push up the bedrock enough that the island remains. But the island of Iwo Jima hides something worrying in the long term, as just like the Hunga Tonga Hunga Haapai volcano, this island is not a mere stratovolcano, but also one with a fairly large caldera. While the 2022 eruption of Hunga Tonga Hunga Haapai resulted in the creation of a 4 km wide caldera, the island of Iwo Jima could best be described as a single massive resurgent dome within a 10 km wide caldera. Although the age of its caldera is unknown, what is known is that in the first millennia BCE, Iwo Jima was a lush tropical island with numerous trees, grasses, and wildlife such as crabs. Then, in 850 BCE, this island exploded in a catastrophic eruption, completely annihilating the existing island and burying all regional life in a thick layer of ash and pyroclastic flow deposits. Since then, the center of Iwo Jima has largely rose by a rate of 20 meters a century and, in my opinion, could be getting primed in the long term or very long term for its next major caldera forming eruption. However, in my opinion, such a repeat catastrophic eruption, at least for now, seems highly unlikely in the short term future, probably only being a concern another few thousand years from now, so I would not yet worry about this volcano. Iwo Jima's latest island is centered 550 meters away from the existing caldera rim, suggesting that rim faults are feeding this eruption. The vent that formed this new island has erupted five times so far, including in 1982, 2001, 2021, 2022, and now 2023. Based on the length of prior eruptions, the current vent is likely to erupt intermittently with some potential pauses and activity throughout this length for anywhere from one week to five months. As a final note, I would like to thank this channel's patrons on Patreon and channel members on YouTube.